Oh my god, I cannot wait for this video. Not only are we playing Bolton at home, the biggest team to ever come and play us at our stadium in a competitive fixture, but also strange things are happening to me. Let's go and find out all about it in today's episode of Walks to the Prem. Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number 38 of my Kingsley Walks to Prem save here on Football Manager 2020. And oh my gosh, what an episode we have got for you today. I've been awake for 40 minutes this morning and already I'm recording. That's how much I cannot wait to get this one out to you guys today not only are we playing Bolton at home like I said in the intro I'm, I'm expecting a big big crowd for this game down at the walks but also amazing things have been going on oh I cannot wait to get this out to all you guys let's go and have a look at the schedule boom there you go how about that Let's have a look at this. It is all green ticks. It has been perfect since we've been promoted. You saw the Morecambe game in the first episode. We won that one 4-0 in a dominating performance. Then after that, we beat Stockport 3-0 in another dominating performance. Then we beat Halifax again 3-0. And this one was only 1-0 until the last few minutes. But again, we got the 3-0 win. Dulwich Hamlet, 2-0 win. 2-0 up inside 18 minutes. 1-0 win against Salford. 34th minute goal from Nathaniel Lewis on the left-hand side. And then local derby against Boston. Beat them as well. DiMaggio Wright Phillips got back into the team. We even had a man sent off in the 88th minute and still held on for the win. And then following that, 2 0 win against Sutton. Romain Mundell with the goal in the 37th minute. And then our new striker, Abladine Goodridge, with another goal there just to wrap it up in the 91st minute. And then, oh. 4-0 against bottom of the table Chorley. This game was a weird one because we was 3-0 up and as you've noticed, we'd not been scored against yet and they had a shot that went off the line and I was more nervous about that than anything I've been all season so far because I was willing, I was dying for our, our clean sheet record to keep going and thankfully it did. Romain Mundell with a goal, Andrew Unpronounceable with one, Adam Marriott with a couple... And then a 1-0 win against Ebb's Fleet. Romain Mundell again getting us to win in the 79th minute. This is where I thought our perfect record was going to go. But nope, it carries on going. And then a 1-0 win once again. This, this time against Dagenham and Redbridge. DiMaggio Wright-Phillips with the goal there just before the hour mark. And then the latest game. 6-0 against Bromley. DiMaggio Wright-Phillips with a hat-trick. Andrew Unpronounceable with another. Nathaniel Lewis and Mundell with the others. So that makes it 11. Guy, let me do that again. 11 games without a defeat. Without even being scored against. We are 11 games into our highest ever league and we are making it look easy. And so, before the one and only game today against Bolton, we are top of the league by five points. Bolton are in fourth. They're, what, 12 points behind us. It is all going very, very well. Ignore the finances. Ignore that bit. Where, where's my mouse gone? Ignore that bit there. You don't want to know about that. That is just... Bleh. We're ignoring that. 
we are ignoring that until we get promoted. And so, yep, with all that out of the way, let's go and have a look at the team that has been doing so, so well. Hopefully, we can keep it going against Bolton. We've got Herbin in goal. Wilson, Young, Unpronounceable and Crampton make up our back four. Nathaniel Lewis, who's doing very well on the left-hand side and has got a very good partnership going with Tyreek Wilson, so he's doing very well there. McCarthy and Wright are our central midfielders. DiMaggio Wright-Phillips, of course, is still our right-sided midfielder. Romain Mundell and Adam Marriott are up top. And let's go and get into this game. Let's get into the Bolton battle. As you might expect, with our excellent, some would say perfect form, we are favourites to win the game. We are evens to win it. We, of course, have won 11 of our last 11. Bolton have won three of their last five, drawing the other two. This could be a decent game. This I'm really, really looking forward to this. And just before we do get into the game, a little bit of news. I've been given a new contract already. I didn't even ask for it. And I've been given a pay raise from £850 a week uh, up to £1,100 a week. So that is very nice to see. Where's my profile? There it is. Yep, 1100 per week, 725 per week after tax. So that is very nice. And now let's go and get into the game. Okay, we're in the dressing room. Let's go opposition instructions. Shockingly, absolutely nothing done there by my assistant. I'm not quite sure what he does. And so let's go assertive. We've been on a good run lately. Or have I got, I want you to pick up where you left off. Yeah, let's go for that one. Only the one person motivated. I have faith. I have faith, and yeah, this is all looking better now, boys. Yep, everybody but Rob Crampton has been paying attention there. And so, prediction time. 2-0. Uh, 2-0 two two us. Come on, you Linnets. 12 minutes into the game, we've got a free kick, and we've got a penalty. We have a penalty very early doors. Let's change. Oh, I can't change the penalty taker. It's going to have to be Diaz right. Oh, come on. Please let that be the right decision. Watch the odds. He goes down the right-hand side. He steps up. He shoots and he's saved. I, why didn't the game let me change it to Marriott? Oh, my gosh. 17 minutes in now. It's their keeper playing it long. White heads it down to Godfrey who plays it over the top, but Young is in the way. Goes to Mundell, to right. He goes out wide. That's a beautiful pass to Lewis. But he loses it there, gives it straight to Riley. Wilson on the left-hand side picks it up off their pass. McCarthy, right. Out wide, to right Phillips, who heads it in. Goes to Marriott, and Adam Marriott gives us the lead after 17 minutes against Bolton. For his sixth of the season, he is still kicking ass at this new higher level. Let's have a look at this goal again. Right with the ball, plays it out wide. And right, Phillips nods it down. Their defender makes a hash of heading it away. And Marriott with an easy goal there. He was never going to miss that one, boys and girls. Half an hour gone now. Right with the corner ball, plays it in. Godfrey heads it away. Goes to unpronounceable. Goes back to right. To unpronounceable. To right. He crosses it in, but it gets blocked. Unpronounceable now plays it to the other wing, to Andrew Young. And he loses it there, just gives it away to Riley. And now Nugandu with the ball coming forward. He's into our box here, sorely. Yes, he is. Goes for the shot. And Herb in there with the save. And that is the half-time whistle. Not too many highlights in that first half. But we are leading the game 1-0. Nine shots to their four. Six on target to their two. 62% of the ball. This tactic is working an absolute treat these days. Let's go and have a look at the team talk. Let's go team talk. Let's go passionate. I'm very happy with your performance so far. Keep it up. Or 
I know you're capable of even better. I know you're capable of even better. Let's go and get another couple goals. No reaction. What is up with these lads? Right, when I talk to them as a team, they just ignore me. But then when I talk to them in their different units, they actually pay attention. And so, let's go. Come on, one more goal so I can get my prediction right for once. Come on, Linux. Ten minutes into the second half, Tyreek Wilson throws it to McCarthy, who just presents it to that man in white. But he just gives it back to us. Young plays it over the top. White heads away. McCarthy out wide to Wilson. He's got a man in front of him, but he's gone for the shot instead. And that was a quite ridiculous decision there from me, man. And now is this highlight going to carry on? McDonald plays it out wide. And Tims heads it forward to Nagandu. And come on, win the ball back. I want us to keep our clean seat record going, please. Nagandu with the shot. And oh, there it is. I jinxed it. Oh. 11 games and almost an hour. It's taken another team to score against us. And it's taken something very, very special. That was a very nice goal there. Herbin had absolutely no chance. Oh, 66 minutes gone now. Bolton are smelling blood. Can we get this ball away? No, we can't. But Herbin can save it. Just about 20 minutes left to go in the game. We've made two changes. DiMaggio Wright-Phillips and Romain Mundell are both looking quite tired. So I've taken both of them off. DiMaggio being replaced by Waters and Rosa replacing Romain Mundell. I've also got a little bit of a concern with Andrew Young. Might see how he carries on for the next 5-10 minutes and then maybe think about replacing him as well. Just over 10 minutes left now, and indeed I am making that change. Macaulay Robinson coming on for the very tired Andrew Young. If we can get a point out of this game, I won't be too disappointed. But obviously I would like to try and go for the win. Might go attacking in a minute, let's see. Might not need to go attacking, as now Rosa has the ball. He's got it back in space, right with it, back to Rosa. Right is in space again, McCarthy, Rosa. Two right, and now he's going to go down the right-hand side. No, he's not. Riley's won it off him, and Bolton on the counter. It's Nagandu who's, who's already scored against us, and we've given away a free kick there and a red card. Our team's discipline has just gone to pot. Why has Wilson done that? Oh, and I've made all my subs as well. Oh, what do you do here, boys? What do you do? I'm thinking, uh, you probably can't even play here, can you? You probably have no idea what you're doing. Oh, uh, not terrible. Not terrible there. And so let's put Rosa down the left-hand side. If you do remember, that was the original plan when I first got Rosa, was to try and, tra was to try and train him up as a left-sided midfielder. And so we've got him back there now for the last 10 minutes of this game. And do we stay on positive or do we go balanced? What do we do? You know what? It's worked for us all season. Let's stay on positive. Let's see if we can hold on to this. McCarthy to Crampton. And now he goes back to McCarthy. Who plays it into the centre of our defensive area. Robinson out wide to Bernard Rosa. And now, what's the Brazilian going to do with it? Can he get a bit of Brazilian magic? No, we can't. We may have found the one Brazilian that can't actually play football. And now, McCarthy, right, out wide. Yes, he does. Walters now with it. Come on, get it forward. He's passed his man here. We're into the box. If he can cross this in, this is a chance. He has. And Marriott with the shot, and it's been blocked there. Oh, that was our chance to win it. But now Bolton have got their own chance to win it. Nagandu is into the box and we're all... Oh, 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 I thought that was a penalty. It's not a penalty. It's just a corner ball. It's all very dramatic here at the end. Both teams still trying to win it. Nagandu with the corner ball. Come on, come on. Let's just get rid of this. As he's taking his sweet time. You do realise it's Saturday lunchtime, boys. We've got places to be. And Godfrey with the header, but it gets saved.
And that is how that game of football ends. What a game of football that was. I very much enjoyed that game. We had 14 shots, 2 there, 11. 7 on target, 2 there, 6. 3 clear-cut chances, 2 there, 1. And 59% of the ball. So, I think you can say we was the better team. And we maybe should have won it. But, a point against Bolton... And we're disappointed about that. That shows how far this football club has come. Now let's get into the dressing room. Let's go team talk. Let's go assertive. That wasn't good enough. Let's see, let's see what we say about that. Most of them are happy with that. Bernard Rosa has lost confidence. But I'm starting to lose confidence in him. And I've cheered him up there just by saying good effort. And so, yep, yeah, let's leave that there and let's see how the league table is now looking and see when we're going to come back for our next episode. Here's the league table. After 12 games, we of course are still top with three points away from Port Vale, seven points away from Hereford in third, York are down in fourth with 23 points, Bolton, today's opponents, who we've just drawn against, are on 22 points. So we're already getting a little bit of a gap away from third and fourth. If we can get a bigger gap away from second, that of course is the main goal. And so now, I'm thinking we might just get through this season and get through this league in the first attempt. Which, if we could do that, that would be phenomenal. And so, let's see, when are we going to come back for the next episode? Schedule, 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 schedule. I've just pressed the button for the schedule. Uh, let's see. I want to get, again, quite a few done again. How about, how about Chelmsford? Do we come back for the Chelmsford game? Where are they in the league at the minute? 21st, maybe not then. Hereford? We'll come back for Hereford. That is the game we will come back for in the next episode. Keep an eye on the Twitter for when that's going to be. I'm still kind of making my mind up about what content I'm going to do next week. So, yep, yeah, keep, keep your eyes peeled on the Twitter for that. And so, guys, that is where we are going to leave it for today. If you've enjoyed that video, which I'm sure you have, pop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 20 content just like this. We've got the India Building a Nation series, the FM20 five years on, which will be back tomorrow. Keep an eye out for that one tomorrow. And we've got the Pro Evo 20 Real Madrid Classic League series, which will be back on Wednesday. So a whole lot of good stuff going on on the channel at the moment. And yep, follow me on Twitter, at Bad Jokes Gaming. And as well as that, check out all the Passion for FM YouTubers down below and all the Twitchers as well. And check out the Passion for FM Discord, Twitter, Facebook, website, all of that good stuff. Check all that good stuff out. And yep, guys, I shall see you tomorrow for the FM20 five years on. See you later. Bye.